Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Well, Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, as you can see, we're on the opposite side of Scarland, taking a look at my original garden project we did so long ago. So we're just taking a look at what I've completed in the past, and then today we'll finally finish up our gardening project at the tree farm. So let's take a little walk around the greenhouses. All right, so we're down on the mainland taking a look at some of our greenhouses. And also, besides looking at the gardening, we are also going to announce a new series. A video is coming soon. It's called Push Button Living with Scar. And we're going to turn these greenhouses into automated wonders. So first things first here, we'll take a look at some of the garden design. I think this came out pretty cool with our yellow flowers and our red kind of intersecting there into the little topiary and yeah we did also a few topiaries down that way and here's our subterranean mushroom farm our uh what's that called again you you know you've seen pictures and then our cactus farm over here so this will be really convenient when we turn this into an automated cactus farm so we probably have to make it a little bit smaller, not quite as many rows, because we'll need room for all the mechanicalness, but I think it'll be pretty cool, and it'll be kind of a fun series. So yeah, this, there's our design, and there's a new series coming soon. So hopefully we can finish up this tree farm pretty soon and get working on this. So let's get up here, head up to the Skyland Transportation Station, and head off to the tree farm. So let's just hope there's a minecar up here. Oh yeah, there's one. Awesome. Activate it, and here we go. All right, we're back at the tree farm. So let's head down here into the station. And on our right and left, we can see what we're gonna build in this project just down there on the other end. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's stop here at the station and head up. And then we'll start this project. So this is what we're gonna do on that side over there. So I just completed this side. I think this will be pretty cool. Now, there might be a slight difference in the trees we're going to do on the other side because I might do the yellow and the red flowers slightly different, and I may do this trunk one higher than it is. It just seems a little low. I think three pieces of trunk would be the proper length, so I might come back later and fix that on that side. So this is our area over here, where our future work site. So let's get started here. So let's see here. Let's get what we need here. We got our, we don't need that yet, so we can get rid of that. We need this, and yeah, I think that's probably good. So let's start our project. So let's see, how are we doing this? Two, three, four, five. All right, we'll just come over here like this. So the design is kind of a star. So we're gonna do two there, and then two here, and then at the corners, we're just gonna do one. One uh, stack, one block of leaf. And then we'll do the same over there. And then we'll go up here one like so. Come around there like that. And then we'll just jump up here too like this. And just continuing along. Yeah, so I think uh, I went back and forth a couple times on design choices of what the tree might look like. And I really, I really like this one. So let's just jump up here one more time. Finish off the top, fix our mistake, and head down. Yeah, there we go. I like that. I think I like the three pieces of trunk showing better than what we have on the other side. So we'll just fix that up a little later. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Four. I'm sure I'm going to make a mistake somewhere along the lines, but <laughs> like I probably just did. Who knows? But we could always fix it. Easily fixed. But I think uh, the design is sound. I'm pretty sure I actually did goof up. Let me, let me jump down. And, yep, I did. You know, I just had that feeling. 
that feeling was tingling and that scar made a scar mistake. So let's just knock that out real quick and go up one more. My, my, spite, my scarry sense was tingling that I had made a mistake. All right, coming around here like so. So one thing I was thinking about as I was reminiscing over at the uh, greenhouse was that I have been playing Minecraft for coming on almost two years. I was kind of surprised at that when I was looking at it. I hadn't, you know, I recently had uh, my first oops, anniversary of making videos, but I started playing Minecraft around September. So it's, we're getting close to two years. That's, that's been a lot, a long time. That is a long time. So let's just finish up here like so. And so I was wondering how long you guys have been playing. How long have you been playing the crafting and the mining? And doing your awesome mining and crafting. So I believe I started sometime around September. Pretty sure. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So let's just continue our way across here. Without making mistakes. Three. Three. There we go. I hope that's right. I really don't want to make another mistake. That would be embarrassing. Yep, I did. I made a mistake. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's easier. It's easier to. It's difficult to build sometimes while talking. Sometimes you you get you know you go, oh jeez you get talking about different things and uh, you get sidetracked. Yep, I I uh, did this one right. Thank God. <laughs> oh man. Scar making mistakes. What, what would a super awesome Minecraft episode be without me making at least a couple mistakes? There we go. Finishing that. There we go. Yeah, so Minecraft, two years. That's that's a, it's pretty cool. The game has changed so much in the, that amount of time too. It's amazing to think. Even even the graphics have greatly improved. Looking at some old screenshots or videos, you're like, whoa, that was Minecraft? It looks much different, way better. The lighting, way more dynamic. Looks great. They've done a good job over the last few years. So let's jump down here. And just think how much uh, Notch's life has changed since he started making this. You know, just a guy making a game, but now he's got a company, and it's, it's pretty cool. Let's see, how high, let's just get an official count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going five high. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we're not gonna make a mistake. But yeah, you think like a notch, man, that guy's, that guy's come a long way since, since when he first debuted Minecraft. There we go. So hopefully we get to see his new game pretty soon is uh, whatever it's called, zero something or other, pi, <laughs> something along those lines game, it looks pretty cool. So hopefully we get to see that pretty soon. There we go. Coming across, making our design. There we go. So let's just jump up here. Finishing our little star effect. There we go. All right, let's jump back down. And check out these boots. Check out these boots I'm wearing. Look at those. Look at those things. Look at them. They're feather falling is the greatest thing ever. It has saved me so many times working on that tree. All right, so let's jump over here. Two, three, four, five. I don't know why I just didn't count it out at the beginning instead of consistently making some mistakes. Look at how easy it is now that I actually counted how high I was supposed to go. All right, coming across here, making our little star. There we go. Let's come around here like that, cleaning it up. There we go. Jump up here too high, and grabbing our stack because we're running low. So I also just real quick, um, I picked these leaves again, like I said in the last episode, because they retain their color through different biomes because the tree farm, can, I believe the tree farm has about two different shades of uh, brown and green in it. So this way, this maintains its same color throughout the whole tree farm. 
like with the pine leaves. If I would have done the standard oak or the jungle, it would have been a little bit different throughout. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Making our star coming around. But yeah, so this this project, once this is done here, we'll uh, pretty much finish everything we're gonna do within the outside of the tree farm. There's still a few things we need to do inside the tree to make it all ready to go. But yeah, we are almost done. This has been quite a project. It's amazing this project started in January and what is it now, June, going on July. Quite a big project, quite a project. A little bit longer than I anticipated, a little longer, but I think it's been well worth it. I think it has been well worth it. There we go. Cross there, there, and there. Let's jump back down, take a look. Oh, I love it, and I like how these are just one higher than the trees on the other side, so we will fix that a little bit later. And let's jump into super fast build mode. All right, there we go. We completed that. So let's jump into our flowering. So let's grab our flowers out. There we go. Now I was thinking as the other side, we have it kind of crisscrossing. I wanted to make more straight lines. So I think I'm going, oh, oh, scar. I was thinking about doing red on this side and yellow straight lines on the other side. Kind of create, um, just a little bit more straight lines. I think it'll make the pathways actually look a little bit longer. Make them look a little more forced perspective. So let's finish that up there. Oh, come on, Scar. There we go. All right, let's finish on this side. Let's do, should I do just yellow on this side? Or should I do separate? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do red on this side and then yellow on the other side. So let's just come across here there we go now let's finish up over here put a yellow on this side and what in the world why is our flowers getting knocked off well that's strange I don't understand that I've never seen that before it must be a glitch or something in this snapshot so coming over here there we go yeah, I like that much better. I think that looks pretty good. So next step here is to add our water. So let's grab our bucket. There we go. So we're just going to fill this thing up a little bit and then we'll have a nice kind of uh, water feature. So let's fill this in like so. There we go. Almost in, almost filled up. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. So I'm gonna do this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back and look at this. We have a completed garden entrance for our mine cars and we had our entrances built in the previous episode for our walking pass. So now it's all fancy. We got this awesome garden all built up. So let's take a little walk through here and take a look at it. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now there's still this strange glitch over here where my flowers keep bouncing back off of the ground. So we gotta address that. And it's also doing it on this side over here where it's not growing over here. I don't know, maybe the flowers need a light level now or something like that. So in the comments, let me know what the deal is with that. 
And yeah, so I think we're just about complete. And let me know what you guys think of our amazing tree farm now that it's pretty much complete. Just a few finishing touches to do here and there. We might go in and readdress some of the supports for our structure up there. We might increase the size of them a little bit to make them a little bit more, uh, more grand from the outside. Well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe this video you deserved a rating of some sort, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye, everybody.